स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल बंसल बायोलॉजी आज का जो ये वीडियो है थोड़ा सा डिफरेंट वीडियो है इसमें मैं आप लोगों के साथ शेयर करना चाहूंगी अबाउट द यूनिट बायो केमिस्ट्री दैट विच ऑफ द टॉपिक्स ऑफ बायो केमिस्ट्री आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड विच ऑफ द टॉपिक्स आर लेस इंपॉर्टेंट और दे आर इंपॉर्टेंट बट दे आर वेरी लेस वेरी मच टाइम कंज्यूमिंग सो इट इज डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू रिमेंबर दोज थिंग्स एज दे आर डिफिकल्ट और दे आर डिफिकल्ट टू रिकॉर्ड ओके so we are going to just divide our biochemistry units in three main points and the three main points the first point is that students generally what they do during the preparation they skip some of the units because all the units are not necessary so some of the students think about skipping biochemistry as the uh, the students that are from the botany background or the zoology background are little bit weaker in the biochemistry part as it comes a bit of chemistry is also involved in this सो so, उसकी वजह से थोड़ी सी समझने में बायोकेमिस्ट्री को डिफिकल्टी हो जाती है तो व्हाट स्टूडेंट्स थिंक दे थिंक टू स्किप दिस यूनिट बट अगर आप बायोकेमिस्ट्री यूनिट्स के भी कर रहे हो तो भी इसमें ऐसे कुछ कुछ टॉपिक्स हैं और बहुत सारे ऐसे टॉपिक्स हैं जो आपको पढ़ने पड़ेंगे इवन इफ यू आर स्कीपिंग दिस द रीजन बिहाइंड दैट इज दैट दिस यूनिट इज इंटर कनेक्टेड विथ ऑल द यूनिट्स इस यूनिट को सी एस आई आर नेट ने फर्स्ट यूनिट रखा है उसका रीजन है द रीजन इज दैट इट इज द कनेक्शन अगर ये बेस है अगर आपको ये समझ में नहीं आएगा तो बाकी यूनिट्स को समझने में यू विल टेक टाइम सो दिस तो फर्स्ट कैटेगरी इज दैट इवन इफ यू आर स्कीपिंग द यूनिट दिस यूनिट यू हैव टू डू दीज सब टॉपिक्स ओके सो द सेकेंड पॉइंट दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिवाइड इज दैट द टॉपिक्स दैट आर इंपॉर्टेंट एज इन फ्रॉम देम द क्वेश्चन आर आज रेगुलरली इन सी एस आई आर नेट एग्जामिनेशन प्लस दे आर इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड इजी टू रिमेंबर यू इफ यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट कॉन्सेप्ट वंस यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व इट्स क्वेश्चन वेरी इजली and the third point is that when the point the even the topics are easier but it is very time consuming it will take your time to understand the topic or even if you understand the topic even if you grasp the topic you will not be able to remember that in examination because in that you have to just grasp 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 many things you have to learn and about them uh, recalling them in the examination is bit difficult okay so let's divide these all thing in the three parts so the first part let's start with the first part is that ki aapko wo topics padhne hi padenge agar aap biochemistry units skip bhi kar rahe hain to so in this the first thing is that atoms molecules ki aapko pata hona chahiye atoms kya hai molecules kya hai ye bahut chote se topics hai ye zyada time bhi consume nahi karenge bahut chote se uh, water molecule kya hote hain atoms ke just a little bit zyada time bhi nahi lenge ye topics bahut chote topics hai तो जस्ट उनके थ्रू गो थ्रू कीजिए अगर इफ यू आर स्किपिंग दिस यूनिट आफ्टर दैट देयर आर बॉन्ड्स द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज बॉन्ड केमिकल इंट्रैक्शन कि डाइपोल क्या होता है कोवलेंट बॉन्ड क्या है हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड क्या है ये बॉन्ड कब फॉर्म होते हैं इनकी जो लिमिट्स है वो क्या है uh, कितनी बॉन्ड लेंथ होती है ये सब जो बेसिक थिंग्स है ये बॉन्ड के बारे में आपको पता होना चाहिए पेप्टाइड बॉन्ड फॉस्फोडाइस्टर बॉन्ड सारे बॉन्ड्स जितने भी हैं द रीजन इज दैट आप कुछ भी पढ़ेंगे आप किसी भी यूनिट में जाएंगे आपको बॉन्ड्स पढ़ने पड़ेंगे तो बॉन्ड्स के बारे में अगर आप इसी यूनिट में कॉन्सेप्ट अपना क्लियर कर लेंगे ना सो दैट विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू इन द अपकमिंग यूनिट सो आई वुड सजेस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एटम्स मॉलिक्यूल्स देन बॉन्ड्स एंड इंटरेक्शन ओके दैट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आफ्टर दैट इफ वी सी इज दैट द रिएक्शन दैट वॉट इज रिडॉक्स रिएक्शन what is endergonic reaction what is exergonic reactions what is gibbs energy just basic not in detail because you are going to skip this unit so you just need us ki exergonic kya hota hai endergonic kya hota hai endergonic matlab jisme energy deni hoti hai exergonic matlab jisme energy release hoti hai is type ke jo basic concepts hai bas itna pata hona chahiye taki you have an idea regarding them okay so what i have said bonds structure molecules रिएक्शन साइट इट इज एंडोकॉनिक और एक्सोकॉनिक और यू मस्ट बी नो वॉट इज गिब्स एनर्जी लाइक दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंग यू मस्ट नो आफ्टर दैट वॉट इज एनाबॉलिज्म वॉट इज कैटाबॉलिज्म मेटाबॉलिज्म के दो पार्ट होते हैं एनाबॉलिज्म क्या है वॉट इज कैटाबॉलिज्म आफ्टर दैट पी एच वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग पी एच दैट सेवन पी एच क्या होता है वन पी एच क्या होगा फोर्टीन पी एच क्या होता है कब एच पॉजिटिव आयंस आता है कब ओ एच नेगेटिव आयंस आते हैं सो ये दीज ऑल थिंग्स यू मस्ट नो अबाउट पी एच ऑल्सो इन बेसिक After that buffer, 
buffer is very important topic that will be useful in animal physiology also so about buffer you must know that what is buffer after that you must know about the nucleic acids proteins amino acid vitamins all of these basic structure aapko sabke basic structure pata hone chahiye for example agar main amino acids ke bare mein baat karu to aapko pata hona chahiye 22 standard uh, amino acids hai unke structure kya hai wo kis basis pe divide kiye gaye hain non polar kya hote hain polar amino acids किसके पास कौन सा ग्रुप होता है ठीक है जैसे कि सिस्टीन के पास सल्फाइड ग्रुप है सल्फो ग्रुप है तो ऐसे आपको पता होना चाहिए आफ्टर दैट अमाइनो एसिड्स में कौन से बॉन्ड बनते हैं पेप्टाइड बॉन्ड फॉर्म होता है तो प्रोटीन फॉर्म होते हैं सो प्रोटीन का बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर कि कौन सा एन टर्मिनल है कौन सा सी टर्मिनल है जस्ट दैट जस्ट दैट यू शुड नो बिकॉज दैट विल बी हेल्प इन सेल बायोलॉजी मॉलिकुलर बायोलॉजी एंड मेनी अदर यूनिट्स आफ्टर दैट अबाउट द न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स यू मस्ट नो दैट वॉट इज न्यूक्लिक एसिड डी एन ए आर एन ए क्या होते हैं उनका स्ट्रक्चर क्या होता है राइबो शुगर क्या है न्यूक्लियोटाइड क्या होते हैं न्यूक्लियोसाइड क्या होते हैं स्पेसिफिकली इन दिस ए टी पी ए टी पी इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई मस्ट टेल यू ए टी पी बहुत ज्यादा जरूरी है ए टी पी से ए डी पी कैसे बनता है जी टी पी से जी डी पी क्या बन कैसे बनता है so this point you must know after that regarding the carbohydrates what is monosaccharide what is polysaccharides uh, what is glucose what is glycogen wo kaise ban ke cellulose how cellulose is formed how starch is formed so all these these macromolecules micromolecules lipids uh, lipids about the lipids that uh, what is lipid kaise banta hai lipid fatty acid and glycerol kaise join hote hain specifically phospholipids kya hote hain glycolipids kya hote hain because this is a very important topic for cell biology if you know all these things then cell biology you will be able to understand half of the cell biology very easily because half of the cell biology is dependent on plasma membrane okay so if you know about all these thing then it will be very easy for you to understand cell biology also so here you must know about the lipid structures carbohydrate structures protein structures and nucleic acid structures that are the base if you are not going to do that in this unit you have to learn about them in cell biology or molecular biology so it's better to understand all these thing in this unit only after that the enzymes not proper if you are going to skip this unit then don't go in the deep just uh, remember that just learn that what is enzymes okay what is activation energy how many types of enzyme like ligase lyase oxidoreductase just like that and what are their cofactors or coions that they need to react to do a reaction that's all okay so these are the some basic things that you must know if you are skipping the biochemistry you need the basic first pointer things that you know so what are those molecules bonds uh, structures and enzymes and lipids carbohydrates proteins amino acids nucleic acid structures these all will put in the first section that even if you are skipping the unit you have to do that even if you don't do in this unit you have to do in the another units also so just go for them after learning all these about lipids proteins carbohydrates that what are unsaturated lipids and what are saturated lipids and how the double helical structures of dna are formed which is the bond between adenine and thymine uh, how many hydrogen bonds are there and how uh, matlab how many energy will be required to break the adenine and thymine bond and okay so these are very basic thing after that there is second point that is we are going to see is that the questions are asked from these topic are a lot okay like every year or not every year then alternatively years the questions are asked from these topics and these topics are very important to understand so first of all the topic i would suggest is zwitter ion and isoelectric point these two topics are very important even if you are going to do these uh, two topics that will be help uh, help you in the techniques uh, unit also because technique unit and technique unit when you are doing some of the techniques that is dependent on these isoelectric point and zwitter ion also so from isoelectric point and zwitter ion also there are many questions are asked plus ramachandran plot 
don't forget about Ramachandra plot. If you are able to understand that, that's very easy. Students are just fearful of them that it is a very tough topic. But in reality, it is a very easy topic. If you are able to understand it, it's very, very easy. So Ramachandra plot, Zwitter ion, isoelectric point. Very important. Plus the activity of exopeptides and endopeptides. So easy questions come from these two topics. So, so, so easy that you can easily uh, attempt those questions. After that, the total subunit of enzymes. If you can do that total subunit of enzyme, that's the best thing. Because from that enzymes, there are many questions asked. There are the reaction, the activation energy, the constants, everything it is very important. So that total subtopic of enzymes I will keep in the second point with Zwitter ion, Ramachandra plot and the exopeptides, endopeptides. So these topics are very important if you're going to uh, uh, perform, uh, if you're going to learn the biochemistry unit. After that, the third point, the third point is that the topics and the questions are there, but you have to remember that it is difficult to remember or it is tough. In that, the first subunit, the last subtopic, which is metabolism, I will keep it. In which there is carbohydrate metabolism, lipid metabolism. ये इनका जो मेटाबॉलिज्म है इनमें से आते हैं क्वेश्चन ऐसे नहीं है क्वेश्चंस नहीं आते लेकिन इनको याद करना इट इज अ एक्सट्रीम डिफिकल्ट टास्क इतने सारे नाम हैं इतने सारे रिएक्शन है पूछ लिया जाता है कि इस रिएक्शन में कितनी एटीपी यूज होगी इस रिएक्शन में कितनी एटीपी बनेगी इट्स अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट टास्क टू रिमेंबर ओके कार्बोहाइड्रेट लिपिड्स अमाइनो एसिड न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स विटामिंस इन सब का ब्रेकडाउन इन सब का मेटाबॉलिज्म क्वेश्चंस आते हैं बट यार बहुत डिफिकल्ट है मतलब Difficult as in, yaad rakhna. If you are good in learning, if you are good in grasping things, that which is very good for you. But agar yis mein difficulty hoti hai, then you can skip this subunit very easily. And even if I would suggest that go for carbohydrate metabolism, because we are learning them from our our eleventh and twelfth, and those are quite easier as compared to the metabolism of lipids, amino acid, nucleotides. Okay, and after that, the point that I will keep in this third point is thermodynamics, colligative uh, properties, all these that are given. Uh, the questions come from here, but it is a little difficult for understanding, especially if one is not from the chemistry background or from the biochemistry background. So you can skip these topics also. After that, in this part, I will consider uh, domains, motives, poles. Uh, all these topics I also I will consider in this third pointer plus the that glycolysis, bioenergetics, coupled reactions, all these things are important. But in gly glycolysis and oxidative phosphorylation, coupled reaction, in all these things you have to remember number of things. So that will also become a bit difficult. So this glycolysis subtopic you can uh, keep that in the third pointer with the, the domains, motives, folds and plus the stability of proteins, the nucleic acids that are important if you can do that is very good stability of proteins and nucleic acids. So yeah, okay, so this is just a chart to tell you that even if you are skipping biochemistry, then you can uh, learn these topics. And if you are going to study some topics, then go for specially Ramachandran plot, Zwitter ion, isoelectric point and enzymes topic, enzyme subunit, very important. And if you are going to skip some of the part, then skip metabolism and skip that thermodynamics part if you want, because questions are asked. It's not like questions are not asked, but it is quite difficult to understand. Colligative properties, all these points. Okay, so this whole thing that I have told you is my experience. हो सकता है आप लोगों का experience कुछ और हो. ये सब मेरा experience है. मैंने ये सब चीजें try की थी. जितने भी मेरे video हैं, सिर्फ मैं उन्हीं basis पे बनाती हूँ कि जो मैंने use किए थे और मैंने try की थी इन चीजों को. And that would help me for the selection. So I hope that ये आपको भी मदद करे. So these were the most important and least important topics in just nutshell. So I hope this video will be helpful to you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and share this video with all your friends guys. Thank you so much. Bye bye.